we do manage to summon her up and there she is finally what's up guys ad back with another destiny child video and in today's video everyone we are going to be summoning for the new wood type supporter in sarasu so it's been a long time coming for this new wood type supporter and she's been a must want here on destiny child for quite a while now and she has finally arrived to the global version so here she is nonetheless here having sarasu with her guaranteed upon summoning banner and of course we also do have the solo pick a banner if you would like to go for additional copies of this character but without any further ado let's get started here with the summons and hopefully we manage to pull her fairly quickly in today's video now sarasu they did manage to adjust her skill set quite a bit which many players weren't too happy about if you are very familiar with how sarasu does work on destiny child japan she is way better on there compared to the skill sets in which we did receive here on the global version now we'll be sure to compare and contrast the japanese skill sets compared to our global skill sets in our sarasu video overview and we'll make sure to overview her current skill sets in today's video after the summits are up but nonetheless they did manage to change her quite a bit and unfortunately she isn't as flexible outside of supporting tap based attackers of course she still does have frenzy on her drive skill which is pretty amazing but unfortunately it only lasts for 20 seconds long when you do happen to compare her to other supporters such as Kresnik our fire type supporter in which she does have a 26 second frenzy on her drive skill which it's pretty unfortunate to see how they did adjust Sarasu and unfortunately she favors the tap based attackers now in the future this may be amazing as of course if we do manage to receive another tap based wood type attacker then she'll perform very well alongside them for the Ragnar Break raids, but of course, for this specific raid going up against Ishimi, you probably won't need Sarasu on your team, as we do have Polar Pepita being a slide based attacker. And since Sarasu does favor those tap based attackers, you probably won't be running her unless you do happen to have Annie, our wood type tap based attacker fully ignited and don't happen to have much invested into polar pepita so it's very interesting that they did manage to adjust our wood type supporter we have been looking forward to her for quite a while and they just managed to update her skill set on the fly and unfortunately she isn't too similar to her japanese counterparts on that server so unfortunately they did manage to change her make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the changes to sarasu and like i mentioned we'll be sure to check out her skill set if we do manage to summon her up and there she is finally we do manage to pull heaven sarasu look at amazing a beautiful unit nonetheless regardless of the skill set changes we do have the bio here for heaven sarasu guardian of heaven who lives to make hades flowers bloom so a very beautiful bio there for the new wood type supporter make sure to let me know what you guys think of her in the comment section below an amazing looking character here nonetheless and she's definitely still a must summon so if you would like to go for her make sure to do so as she will still be amazing overall frenzy on drive and still a pretty top tier skill set nothing compared to her japanese counterparts of course but she still is pretty amazing. So make sure to pick up Sarasu if you guys do happen to have the crystals. And there she is once more on screen. Look at amazing. And we did manage to pull her in just a few multi summons. All right, everyone, here we are with Sarasu's skill sets here on screen. Look at amazing. Heaven Sarasu, so beautiful. And we do have these skills here to match. So let's check out the fully ignited skill sets here at rank seven stats to compare with her Japanese counterpart. Of course, we do have the tap skill here, Falling Petals, dealing 2,600 damage to one random enemy, a 90.6% chance to nullify DOT debuffs on two allies, damage over time debuffed for 8 seconds long, and skill gauge plus 57.5% for two allies charging skills. So the tap skill here, it's still pretty strong. I would definitely say this shouldn't go unfazed here, as we do have the nullify damage over time debuff, which will help with Ishimi. Of course, she does happen to have poison in her skill sets, and we also do have here skill gauge plus a certain 
percentage for two allies here charging skills upon being ignited so definitely an amazing tap skill here and let's move on to the slide skill and check out this one here in which we do have dealing 4147 damage to two enemies priority lowest hp and skill gauge charge amounts plus 88 percent to three wood type allies highest attack for two turns in five person giant boss increased tap skill damage of five wood type allies highest attack by 113.2 percent for two turns so as you can see here the changes to the slide skill she doesn't happen to have the barrier compared to her japanese version and we also do have her targeting the tap skill damage of your wood type allies in which of course your slide skill based attackers won't be affected by this so that's pretty unfortunate she won't be able to go insane alongside prepita here due to the slide skill as she will be focusing the tap skill damage in which this is pretty much a direct buff to our tap based attacker annie so if you do happen to have her invested in two she is very amazing alongside sarasu make sure to run those two side by side and once we do manage to receive a future wood type attacker that does happen to be tap based as an attacker sarasu will do amazing alongside them but we'll have to wait and see when that does manage to happen now for the drive skill here we do have dealing 7697 damage to three random enemies and frenzy attack plus 120 percent and invincible for 20 seconds always stun the target for five seconds afterward to three wood type allies highest attack so that's pretty hard on the downside here 20 seconds when you do manage to compare her to let's check out crest sneak here in the inventory as well we do have the drive skill apply invincible for 26 seconds so definitely a huge comparison here of course six seconds is quite a bit of time here due to the drive skills so a huge difference there and of course this only lasts for 20 seconds here on sarasu's kit which is pretty unfortunate when you do happen to compare her to Kresnik. why couldn't they just give her the 26 seconds but of course still an amazing drive skill just these small nerfs do happen to add up quite a bit and of course that's big change here on the slide skill in which now she does favor those tap skill based attackers now for the leader buff here we do have plus 18 percent tap skill damage to wood type allies during five person giant boss plus 20 percent tap skill damage for wood type allies so here another increase to those wood type allies of course if you do have any you'll definitely be very happy with this unit here if you do happen to have it that's any ignited of course as sarasu is an amazing option alongside those tap skill based units now sarasu here should you summon for this character you definitely should summon for her still she's an amazing wood type supporter even with the changes here she just isn't as overpowered definitely still an s tier wood type supporter so make sure to get your hands on her while this guaranteed upon summoning banner is currently active as this is the best chance for you to obtain this amazing and beautiful wood type supporter so make sure to do so during the ashimi ragnar break and here's the drive skill animation if you guys would like to check it out here on screen look it's so beautiful love these clean drive skill effects here as showcased with sarasus here so here it is once more looking amazing and super clean here with the touch here in the bowl looking so beautiful so make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of sarasu of course she isn't as overpowered compared to her japanese version but she still is definitely an amazing wood type supporter so i still do recommend you guys to pick up this character and if you guys would like to check out my full analysis here on sarasu i'll be sure to have that video linked down below as well as in one of the top right hand cards of this video screen once that video does manage to be released all right everyone now before we do end off this video let's level up our sarasu and awaken her to check out that amazing s class now i definitely do like her e class costume way more than the s class you guys will check it out here of course the s class is still pretty beautiful but i do love the e class personally more than the s class so here we are with the s class coming up here on screen and there she is looking
looking so beautiful honestly still an amazing costume can't go wrong with either of them so make sure to let me know what you guys think of the costumes and which of the two would be your personal favorite so that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child summoning here featuring our new wood type supporter in sarasu so make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys did manage to enjoy today's video and of course be sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't yet done so already and would like to stay tuned for more destiny child videos but that'll pretty much do it for today's video make sure to check out the links in the description box below to channel memberships as well as to my discord server if you guys would like to join us there i'm always active and chatting even when i'm not posting here on youtube so make sure to check out that link in the description box below and of course a huge thank you to all of the channel members here on the channel i'll try my best to have some live streams coming up soon so make sure to stay tuned for those as well but with all of that being said i'll catch you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching